Hi, everybody. Hi, Lakshmi. Uh, very, very happy Independence Day to all of you all. Uh, we're going to wait. We're going to wait for some time for everybody to join in, and then we're going to start off with today's session. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, Priyanka. Hello, Fatima. Happy Independence Day to you, too. Happy Independence Day, Nita. So we're just going to wait like a like a minute or so more, and then we're going to start off with the live session today. Happy Independence Day, Suraj. Hi, Jaya. Hi, Varun. Happy Independence Day. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Happy Independence Day, Manisha. All right. So we have like a lot of people joined in already. So we're going to start off with today's session. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Nikita Chavda. And today I'm going to be walking you through a live art session. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, paint along with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what you're going to be doing. I'm going to explain all the materials that I have right here. So you can go ahead and grab it and uh, get started with me. And we can go ahead and do this painting session. All right. So the first few things that I have here with me is first is I have a sheet of paper. So you can take any sheet of paper that you have with you. I have taken a 250 GSM paper so that my acrylic paint sits well on the same. After which I have uh, my acrylic paints right here. So you can use your Camelin or Faber Castle acrylic artist tubes if you have any with you. Or you can go ahead and use these kind of uh, bottles. Uh, if you have them with you, these would work well too. After that, I do have uh, some accessories, like I have a pencil and eraser just to, you know, help me draw out and go ahead with it. Uh, and apart from that, I have a washcloth and I do have a water jug uh, just so that I can keep washing my brushes as I go. And obviously to go ahead and paint, I have these synthetic brushes. You can go ahead and use any brushes that you have with you and we can go ahead with the same. If you have any comments down below, keep commenting down and I'll keep answering them as uh, we go. And uh, I already have a comment right there that asks, is this an A4 size sheet? Like, are you, can you use an A4 size sheet of paper? Yes, definitely. Right now I'm going ahead with an A4 size sheet of paper myself. Uh, so you can go ahead with an A4, a5 anything that you have will work well no issues with that so um, I hope you have all of your materials ready with you and we can go live uh, yes you can go ahead and use an A3 size sheet of paper no issues your painting will just become a little bigger and that's not a problem at all so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by drawing our uh, basic uh, sketch of what we're going to do. And uh, this picture particularly, I want to have like a nice blue background going. So we're gonna go ahead with that. I'm going to walk you through the whole uh, painting process as well, how to add in the colors. I'm going to swatch the colors on the side so that you can go ahead and see what colors I'm using and you can go, go ahead and do it along with me too. Uh, yes, you can use fabric paint for all of those who are asking. It shouldn't be much of an issue. Like I mentioned, you can go ahead with any kind of fabric paint. I have the Faber Castle ones right here. I also do have uh, the Camlin Artist paint. So you can use whichever you have, no issues with the same. So let me switch over to my paper and we can get started with the background first. So here you can see I have my 
sheet of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint this blue. Uh, if you want to go ahead and use watercolor paint, you can definitely go ahead and do the same. No issues with that whatsoever. So here I'm going to be taking the Artist uh, Acrylic Blue Paint uh, by Camlin. This is the Cobalt Blue shade and I'm going to be going ahead and doing a complete base. Uh, this is not canvas. This is uh, paper. This is a 250 GSM paper. So if you have something like this, you can definitely go ahead with that. If you do not have a 250 GSM paper, you can go ahead and use any paper that you have with you right now. So I'm just taking a brush number eight right here and I'm going ahead with my blue paint and going ahead and doing like a basic background. So just going ahead with my blue paint and doing it. So no technique involved here. Take a good fat brush that you have with you and you can go ahead and paint it on. Yes, you can use a mini canvas if you have one, no issues. It'll be a small painting, but that's not an issue as long as you're happy with it. So going ahead and completely doing in my background, I'm adding a little bit of water so that the color spreads better and I get an even coat. So take as much paint as you need. So if you have any questions while I'm painting the blue, please drop them down below. I would love to answer them. And hi to everybody who's joining in right now. A happy Independence Day to all of y'all. Uh, yeah, we will be having uh, a lot more uh, live sessions on our page. Uh, so definitely join in. For the same, you will be notified on the YouTube page itself for all of our upcoming live sessions. Okay, so why am I going ahead and coloring it blue? Because I want a blue base and a blue background. And over the blue background, I'm going to go ahead and do my actual painting. So you can see I'm simply going ahead and doing a simple, simple blue paint. So if you have any streakiness, take a little bit of water and go ahead and clean that up. So depending on the size of the paper you have, you might need to go ahead with a lot of paint or a little paint, but be generous with it. You want a nice good coat. This session is going to be a one hour session. We're going to try doing the whole painting within an hour. So as you can see, I've got a really, really nice coat of a blue paint added down as a background. Um, if you like and you want to clean up your edges, then you can go ahead and draw a clean line right around the edges. I like this background a little bit, so I'm not going to go ahead and clean out my edges. I like the way it looks. So I'm getting a little, a uh, few questions. I'm going to sit down and answer them for you. Um, what shade of blue paint am I using? I'm using uh, the Artist Acrylic Candle Paint in Cobalt Blue. Um, will acrylic paint blend on A4 size sheet of paper? Yes, it definitely will blend on A4 size sheet of paper. Uh, just make sure of one thing, that you don't add too much water. The more water you add in, the problem that will happen is your paper will get damp and it might tear. So just be very, very comfortable uh, while using it. Uh, don't use a lot of water. Uh, can you use any color? Yes, you can definitely go ahead and use any colored paint. Uh, no problem with that at all. Uh, just make sure again that you have a good paper, good paints, so that you get a nice opaque finish to it.
So I'm waiting for my paint to completely dry out. This will just take a couple of seconds. Uh, Prachi is asking me, which paint is this? So um, here I'm using the Camlin Artist Acrylic color in the shade Cobalt Blue. Uh, Yes, you can definitely go ahead and use poster color paints. No issues from that for that at all. Uh, can we use acrylic without gesso? Yes, you can go ahead and use acrylic without gesso. I am not using gesso at all here. I have directly gone ahead with these paints right on my paper. No issues for that. It will stick. Uh, yes, A4 size sheet of paper works really, really well. Which paper am I using? I'm going ahead and using a 250 GSM paper right now uh, in the size A4. If you do not have a sheet that is similar in nature, you can use any, any paint that you like. Yes, uh, Fevicryl acrylic uh, paints would work wonderfully as well. I have the Faber-Castell ones here too uh, as an option if I want to use them. And these would work well too. What am I going to make? I'm going to be making an Independence uh, Day themed picture today. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing because today is Independence Day. What is the paper texture? Okay, so the paper that I'm using is a textured matte sheet. Um, if you do not get something like this, then it's completely all right. But you can look up online on Amazon and look up for a textured uh, paper, watercolor paper or acrylic paper, and you will get it. What is the si uh, price of your paper? So it depends on uh, the size you're buying. Uh, the A4 size sheets one probably costs 10 to 15 rupees per paper. Uh, will we do uh, bottle painting? We will keep that in a, take it into consideration definitely to go ahead and do bottle painting as part of one of our live sessions. Okay, all right. So I can see that my paper is drying out uh, pretty, pretty well. So I'm just going to wait for it. We're going to wait for that sheen uh, to go a bit. Uh, so, uh, Sira, Sirat is asking me what's my name. My name is Nikita Charda and I'm going to be walking you through the session today. Uh, Kavin, no problem if you don't have the same blue color paint as I do. That's no issue whatsoever. You can go ahead with whichever blue color paint you have. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Pritika. Uh, yes, you can definitely go ahead and do whichever blue you have. All right, so with my brush, I'm going to just check if uh, my color is completely dry or not. So if it's picking any color up and you can see, yes, it is picking a little bit of color up. So we're going to go ahead again and wait for it to completely uh, dry out. So if you have any more questions, please drop them down because we have a bit of time and we can chat and we I can answer any questions that you have for me. Uh, yes, uh, I'm getting some questions about my name. I am Nikita Chavra and I'm taking your session for the day. Uh, can we use other shades of blue? Yes, you can definitely go ahead with another shade of uh, blue. Uh, you can see here, I have the Faber-Castell one. Uh, this is in Persian blue. This will be a little darker, which is not an issue at all. You can go ahead with a little darker blue, no problem. Happy Independence Day to everybody. All right, so I can see my paper is a uh, little dry and I'm comfortable with this. Uh, yes, you want the paper to completely dry. You do not want to go ahead and do anything on a wet sheet of paper because your drawing or anything will not show through. Uh, the colors that I'm using are acrylic paints. I'm using it in Cobalt in Camblin Artist Acrylic Color. Is this my first session with Let's Tube? Yes, this is the first time I'm going live with Let's Tube.
can we use canvas yes definitely please go ahead and use a canvas if you need to can we use dryer to make it dry faster yes you can definitely use a dryer to go ahead and make it dry faster no problem at all Yes, you can definitely go ahead and use poster paints for the same, no issues. Um, can we use uh, camel watercolor? Yes, you can use camel watercolor. You might not get the same effect as uh, I want right here, but that's all right. So now what I'm going to get into is I'm going to start off by drawing. Uh, a little bit on this. Uh, my paper seems to be pretty much dry, so I'm going to start off by drawing. Um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do three simple uh, lines, like so. It's okay if a little bit of your paint is scraping off, that's completely all right. Which colors are the best? Uh, for this painting, uh, acrylic paint is the best. If you have any other colors that you have with you and you do not have acrylic paints, please go ahead and use those colors. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually create the Independence uh, Day flag of ours, the Indian national flag. So we're going to go ahead and take orange and do a few strokes. If it's coming out a little lightly, that's not an issue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and redo it once again later on. Can you use fabric paint? Yes, please go ahead and use fabric paint. Fabric paint should work wonderfully too. No problems with that at all. So taking my second coat of orange. Adding it in. It's okay if you get a little bit of patches going. No problem with that at all. Once you're done with your orange, you can go ahead and take a little bit of white. and adding the white right there. As you can see. Uh, Tarun asking, can we uh, do a bottle art video? Yes, we will definitely take it into consideration and try to do a bottle uh, painting a uh, video for you, no problem. We will definitely try that out. Um, can you tell us the brush that I'm using? I'm using the Camblin brush right now. Uh, this is in the size number eight. This is a synthetic brush. Uh, you can go ahead and use any kind of brush that you like, uh, but synthetic brushes as a beginner works wonderfully. The next color of our national flag is orange. So, we're, uh, sorry, green. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of green right at the bottom. Uh, can we do a video with crayons? Uh, yes, we definitely uh, can. Uh, this session is going to be acrylic paint. So probably next session or the few coming sessions, we'll take that into consideration and go ahead and do one with crayons. Which colors would work for this um, painting? 
uh, acrylic paint would work wonderfully poster paints would work wonderfully if you don't have any of these then definitely go ahead and use any watercolor paints that you have with you Uh, I will not be hosting uh, the calligraphy session. Uh, a colleague of mine will be going ahead and doing the calligraphy session. You can go ahead definitely and tune into that as well. Uh, we have two, two events uh, planned for today for the same. All right. So now we've gone ahead and done our three colors of the flag. Uh, we're going to wait for this to dry and we're going to work on the top area. Till then. Okay, so Preeti has a question. She says that I do not have orange color. So what do you do at that point of time? So since you don't have orange color, take two colors of your choice. Uh, the two colors of uh, take red and take yellow and mix them together, and uh, you will get your orange shade. Uh, the more yellow you add in, uh, the more uh, orangey the color would be. If you add more red in, it'll get a little darker. So here we want a nice bright orange. So definitely go ahead and add a little bit more yellow. Can you go ahead and use poster paints? Yes, please go ahead and use poster paints. No problem with that at all. Please do. Now I'm taking uh, a normal pencil of my choice and I'm going to go ahead and draw out the piece that we're going to be doing today. So why are we going ahead and doing the surface blue? Because I want it to be a little bit of like a silhouette painting. So I'm going to be drawing uh, the Taj Mahal right here, uh, like a silhouette of the Taj Mahal, and I want a background for the same. So to have a background for the same, I have gone ahead and done blue paint. Thank you so much, Anurag. Okay, starting to draw uh, the Taj Mahal now. Take a dark pencil if you need to, and if it doesn't show up on your paper, I'm taking a darker pencil and starting to draw the inside part of the Taj Mahal. You might have to press a little bit to get your color uh, pencil marks to show, but that's all right. That's not a problem at all. So drawing a line straight up, drawing a line straight up. Oh yeah, that's a very good idea. Thank you, Indu, for saying so that uh, it would make more sense for me to use a white color paint to make the Taj Mahal. I'll definitely go ahead and do so, so that you guys can see it much better. So I'm taking a thin brush now. Uh, I'm taking the size four right now. Uh, in the Camelin Synthetic brush set uh, to get a nice thin line. Going ahead with a little bit of white paint, as Indu mentioned, it would be easier for you all to see. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So drawing in the inside doorway of the Taj Mahal itself. And then going ahead and drawing the dome on top. Which type of sheet am I using? I am using a 250 GSM paper. You can go ahead and use whatever you like. Uh, no, I'm not, you can go ahead and use a white gel pen if you need. I'm just going ahead with a white paint because it just makes the job easier. So I've done the top dome. Now we're going to go ahead and do the side domes. Which brush can you use? 
uh, you can go ahead with a two number brush or three number brush here i'm using a four number brush with synthetic paint i'm uh, sorry with the synthetic brush so there we go i have my second smaller dome on the side then on this side i'm going to go ahead again with an outer dome. And then finally doing the smallest dome on the side. Uh, will symmetry be a concern? It's okay, this is just a nice simple painting. Don't worry about symmetry at the first go. Uh, you can go ahead and make it as symmetrical as you can. If you're not able to, that's also all right. So you can see I've gone ahead and done all of the domes right here. And then finally, I'm going to end it by adding a line across. Can you use a normal drawing sheet? Yes, you definitely go and can go ahead and use a normal drawing sheet. No issue for that. Any sketchbook sheet that you have would work wonderfully for this. So no worries on the same. So now I have my Taj Mahal drawing already done over here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create uh, a little more on either side. We're just going to do two simple uh, tars. So this I want it to be the Qutub Minar. So I'm going ahead and doing a long tar coming out from the side. And again, doing a little bit of a dome on top. So don't worry about it not coming out right. You can definitely go ahead and correct it out again with your acrylic paint, with your blue acrylic paint, if you feel like anywhere is a little bit of an issue. On the other side as well, I'm going to go ahead and do another tar. If you don't have any space left, that's all right. You don't have to go ahead and do anything there. Uh, what is the paint to water ratio? There is no water that I'm using. I'm using acrylic paint directly. So I've gone ahead and done another tar on that side. So that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a fatter brush. So again, here I have my eight number brush in synthetic uh, Camblin brush set. Taking my white paint and I want to create a bunch of clouds around. So taking a little bit of white paint, I'm taking thick paint here, adding no water to this. What colors am I going to use? I'm just going to use white paint again. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, complete up my flag. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So taking a little bit of white paint, I 
ไรอย่างเงี้ยด้วยอันนั้นเองอีกนิดหนึ่งเพิ่มอ่า you can do any kind of blue you want uh, I have gone ahead and just used the cobalt uh, blue for doing the background you can go ahead with whatever you like So creating clouds, like you can see, in circular motions. So as you can see, doing simple circular motions and adding in my clouds. Okay, so if you're not getting an idea on how to draw clouds, just have a look as to how I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side. Uh, I'm just going to go and in circular motions, as you can see, my hand movement is going. In this direction, like this, like in circles, same manner. Just go ahead and add in as much fluffiness as you like. So use a light hand. You can see I'm not pressing too much. Light hand with it, and doing it on. I'm making clouds with the white paint. Fill up any of the rest of the spaces with white. Like so. So I have gone ahead and finished up most of my clouds. I feel like there are some spaces that are a little empty, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill those up. There we go. So now, after this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill up everything in the Taj Mahal. Uh, as you can see, the Taj Mahal is not very, very uh, neat. So we're going to go ahead later with some blue paint, and we're going to correct out all of that. So we're going to keep it beginner friendly again, like I mentioned earlier. So we're going to go ahead and do the detailing inside. After which, we'll go ahead and correct out any of the shapes that we feel are not correct. So taking again a little bit of white paint, I'm taking it with a smaller brush again, a four number brush. Taking some white paint, and I'm going to carve out the door right here.
that's done. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a few windows on this side. One done. Second one being averaging. His acrylic paint edible? No, acrylic paint is not that edible. Please be careful. Do not go ahead and consume it. So that's done. Doing two more smaller windows on top. And now one at the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So that's done. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well, the smaller one. One and So there we go, that's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add all of the detailing of the Taj Mahal itself and some detailing for our pillars right here because you can see we haven't got the cleanest finish. So we want to go ahead and do a nice clean finish for the whole piece. So again, going back to my blue paint, the cobalt blue that I used earlier, taking that, we're going to go ahead and clean up our painting. So taking my blue paint, again, taking a thin brush because I do not want to take a very, very large brush here. Going ahead and starting to clean out first this pillar right here. So if you have any patchiness, uh, because of uh, the white paint, that's completely okay. Uh, because white paint tends to ha uh, be on the lighter side and might give you some patches, which is completely okay. So as you can see, I'm just cleaning out that edge. Try not to use any water because otherwise it won't show up. So you can see, going ahead with that. After which we're going to go ahead and do a few of the lines for the Kutub Minar itself. So on the side, here, and here, again with blue paint, 
it to create sort of like a silhouette going. That's done. After that, cleaning up the top. There we go. One more line on top. Like so. So now you can see you have a nice, uh, clean Kudnubinar going there. Now we're going to go ahead and shape out our Taj Mahal a little bit better now. So I'm going to make the tomb right here a lot bigger. Taking again my blue paint. In a thin brush, correcting it out. If you need here, you can go ahead and for sketch it out with a pencil. And then correct it out. So I'm taking a little bit more thicker blue paint to just get my lines neater. And that's done. Now, the top part right here, we have a little bit of a line. So I'm just going to add that in. That's done. After which, if you feel like you need to correct out the shape of the door itself, please go ahead and do so. And that's it. We're done with that. Now correcting out the other tools. One. And two. Again here, adding in our lines. There we go. Going in on the other side. Like so. Adding in the line. Yes, definitely I'll go ahead and correct them out. Don't worry at all. And another line on top. Now I also want to add in uh, some more windows on top right here. So I'm just going to make this a little smaller. You can definitely go ahead and use an A3 size of paper, no problem with that at all. There we go. 
And on the other side, I'm again going to go ahead and correct out that too. There we go. That's it. And some more at the bottom. Some lights. That looks great. And on top, going ahead. Now I think I have the line and add a line right there. There we go. Okay, so um, the pillars one side I've drawn to Kutub Minar, on the other side I've just gone ahead and done a really simple pillar. There we go. Now, uh, as you can see, the white paint has completely dried on uh, my background, but I want it to be a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go ahead with a little bit more white paint, especially around the sides. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fill those in to make it a little bit more opaque and a little bit less uh, patchy. So as you can see, if you go ahead with the second coat of white paint, you will get a more neater finish. So again, going in the same circular motion, nothing changes there. And filling it up. So again, going ahead, white paint, nice opaque white paint, second layer, and making it a lot more opaque. So for all of those who are using watercolor paints, um, it won't be as opaque as you like so go ahead with the second layer like i'm doing so and as you can see i'm getting a very very nice finish now Any areas where you see a little bit of patchiness, definitely go ahead and clean those up. Because white paint on a any color background actually, so this is just a blue light background, but any color background would give you a little bit of patchiness. So you want to go ahead and correct that out.
make it all even and bright. There you go. Now again, for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more white paint right here. And I want to make it longer. After this, we're going to go ahead with some more orange paint. giving it a second coat. There we go. After that, we're going to go ahead with a little bit of green paint. correct out the bottom. And that's done. The green paint is nice and opaque now. Uh, as a lot of you might not have uh, tape to add to the edges, uh, I have not have added. I have not added tape right at the sides. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take my blue paint and just add like a nice border to get a clean look on the side. So taking again my blue paint. And just, you know, going ahead and correcting out my borders. How do you get paint uh, off your fingers? Okay, so you can just go ahead and wash your hands with normal soap and you should get it out. If it's any specific kind of paint, like for example, um, oil paint and you're not able to get it out it's, if it's sticking uh, then you can go ahead and use a medium for example a turpentine remove it off your hand and then definitely go ahead and wash your hands with soap so you can see I'm getting a nice clean edge now going ahead with the other side as well
So you can see I'm going ahead and clearing all of that up. Do I use my signature to uh, down at the painting? Yes, you definitely can go ahead and put your signature down at the painting since you have done it. I tend to do the same too. Anywhere you have any gaps, please go ahead and do it. So there we go. Cleaned up my edge. Uh, what paper did I use? I went ahead um, and used a 250 GSM paper. You can use any paper that you like. So that part is done. Uh, right here, obviously, I want to add in um, the Ashoka Chakra. So I'm going to be taking a uh, dark blue paint, like so. Taking a thin brush. And adding it in. So as you can see, I had a little bit of water that got picked up right there. You can just take your brush and pick off all of that water. So I'm going to wait for my white paint to dry out because it's not dry as of now. So just covering that up. Waiting for it to definitely dry out before I add my Ashoka Chakra in. Taking a little bit more white paint and just going ahead and just add blending out those edges. Uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and fill up the left pillar because I want it to be a window of sorts. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and fill it up if you like. Yes, uh, Jyoti um, is mentioning that I have to finally do the chakra. Yes, I'm going to just wait for it to dry. Uh, if your paint is uh, dry, your white color paint is dry, please go ahead and add the Ashoka chakra right there. No problem with that at all. If you have space anywhere on your sheet uh, and if you're getting your children to do this, then you can definitely go ahead and write down Happy Independence Day. Oh, yes. Uh, Nitish says that stamping down with a bottle cap with blue color may give the perfect circle. It definitely does give you a perfect circle. You can definitely go ahead and do the same or you can just go freehand and do it. Uh, Jyoti, I went ahead and covered it because my white paint was not dry uh, as of then. Um, I want it to dry out completely and then going to go ahead and do it. Yes, I can uh, definitely go ahead and use an alcohol marker for the finishing, but I'm not too sure but the, that the alcohol marker will show on uh, the acrylic paint and hence I'm not going ahead and doing so. Uh, Jyoti, I am co I covered it up because my paint was not dry as of then, um, waiting for it to dry out completely.
how do you draw 24 spokes exactly? Um, so we might not be able to go ahead and do uh, 24 spokes exactly, but basically start off with a simple plus and then go ahead and add in uh, more. So a plus and then go ahead with the next and keep adding it in. Uh, my paint is not dry as of yet, but I am going to go ahead and do it now. I think it should be dry by now. So going ahead with my dark blue paint. Uh, I'm using uh, the Camelian synthetic brushes. Uh, this is in the number four. Going ahead and doing a simple plus. If your paint is not dry, you might get some this sort of an effect, uh, but that's okay. Across. Across. Yes, if you want your paint to dry quickly, you can definitely go ahead and use a hairdryer if you have one around you right now. And I, between those lines, going ahead and adding some more spokes. You may not be able to add in exactly 24 spokes, but that's completely all right. If you have a bigger circle, you will definitely be able to add in as many. And there you go. Uh, we have our are done right there. This is the complete product. If you do have space anywhere on your sheet left, please go ahead and do write down a happy Independence Day. If you want to add anything else, please go ahead and add it in too. You can also sit down and write your name right on this side, on the right hand side, or if you want on the left hand side, wherever you have space, you can definitely go ahead and add in your name. If you still do have a little bit of patchiness going on in some areas, especially with your white and blue paint, because <clears throat> you're using um, acrylic paint or you're using poster paint or whatever, um, then go ahead and do a second or a third layer if needed. Try to add as little water as possible so that your paint looks really, really neat. If anybody has any further questions, uh, please go ahead and type them down below. Um, I would love to answer them. I'll be here for two minutes more. Thank you for everyone saying that it turned out really well. Uh, yes, uh, you can definitely add in uh, some birds in a dish if you want to. Uh, it would make your picture look really, really nice. So somewhere here you can add them in. It would look really, really nice. Uh, yes, uh, please ask me your doubts.
please go ahead and ask me your questions. I'll be here for a minute or two more. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and ask me if you have any doubts. Uh, is acrylic paint good for your face? Uh, no, I would not suggest going ahead uh, with acrylic paint on your face. Uh, please don't go ahead and use acrylic paint uh, on your face at all. Uh, how to get a neat blend with acrylic paint? Uh, firstly, uh, go ahead and use any good quality acrylic paint. So I'm using uh, the Camlin Artist one. Uh, this is a good artist paint. So definitely go ahead and use a paint like this uh, to get good blending. Also have the right sheets, the right canvas, definitely to go ahead and do some um, good blending going on. If anybody has any further questions, please drop them down below. Uh, I'm from India itself. Uh, uh, Satya Narayan is asking me where I am from. I'm from India itself. Uh, and yes, uh, Neha is mentioning that you can use a fresh brush and you can go ahead and use some water uh, to get a good blend. Uh, I would definitely suggest that, but only if you have a thick sheet of paper. So if you're doing this on canvas, definitely go ahead and add water. But if you're doing it on a sheet of paper, don't add in too much water because what would happen is uh, your paper will end up tearing. Um, as you can see in the comments down below, we have mentioned our uh, YouTube page, uh, Let's Toot Art, and uh, you can please go ahead and subscribe for more art videos. We will have more live sessions like this. We have one coming up this evening. So uh, please definitely go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified for any upcoming events that we have going on. Um, how to correct the more water? Uh, you cannot correct uh, it if you already have too much water put on your paper because your paper will end up tearing. So instead, before adding in the water itself, uh, just, you know, in your paint or your palette, whichever you're mixing your paint in, just try to use as little water as possible. All right, everyone. Uh, it was great uh, meeting everyone of you today. It was great having a session with you all. I hope you learned something. Uh, please subscribe to uh, the Let's Do It page uh, for more content like this. Bye-bye. Uh, Happy Independence Day to each and every one of you. Bye.